Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're looking in Proverbs 10 and, and, and verse uh, 26. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke in, to the eyes, so is a sluggard to them that sent him. He's using a comparison here, isn't he? About something that's irritating. You know, the vinegar to the teeth, the uh, the smoke in the eyes. You ever get smoke in your eyes? You're uh, maybe starting a, you know, your fire pit and that smoke just kind of comes up in your face and, you know, it's irritating kind of move and to get away from the wind and sure enough, uh, the wind shifts and it blows it back in your face again and you try to get out of there because it, it's irritating, isn't it? It's irritating. Uh, and he says he, he likens a slugger, someone who is lazy, someone who is undependable, he's unfaithful. He can't, you can't depend on him for anything. And yet you continue to give that person responsibility. He's the one you send out when um, you choose to send out rather than sending out someone more faithful. He says it's your choice. You can either be, maybe this time he'll get it right. But in the back of your mind, it's going to be a constant irritant. Is he really there? Is he really doing what he's supposed to be doing? Is he doing it the right way? And, uh, and the choice is there. You know, we, we can liken that to the company we keep. And uh, there's some people in life um, that are constant irritants. You know, they, they're, you can't depend upon them to say the right thing at the right time, to be where they're supposed to be. They're always late. They're always, uh, they're always going back on their word. They're lying or, you know, they're, they're moochers and they're always needing money and and, and yet we choose to hang around people like that. Those are the people we, we choose to um, spend our time with. And, uh, you know, the Bible is very clear in the New Testament that a bad company corrupts good behavior. And the people we hang around with ultimately influence us one way or another to the good or to the bad. And certainly we can choose who we choose, uh, who we who we desire to be around, and we can, uh, and by doing so, we can either choose to be irritated, and and or we can choose to be um, at peace. And that's what he's saying here. You, this this guy's always going to be this way unless he he has a come to Jesus moment or somehow his character changes. So understand what you're dealing with when you deal with them. And uh, if you and be careful where you send them and what you entrust them with, knowing that there's a good chance they're not going to get it done. Right? We we all know people like that, and the same is true again when I talk when you talk about your own peace, and you the you, uh, because you know we can either put our faith and trust in this guy to get it done, but we're always it's always nagging in the back of our mind. It, whether this guy is going to get it done, or we can choose to uh, uh, cho uh, choose to send someone out there who's more dependable, and you know we'll get it done. You can choose to be around people who build you up, who are honest and and, and care uh, about you, or you can spend your time around this guy who obviously cares about himself. The sluggard is someone who is narcissistic. He knows better than anybody else. He's always about him. He could care less about what your time schedule is. And he, he's always going to cause constant irritation. The choice is yours. Listen, our time on earth is, is very precious. It, it's so fleeting. And the Bible talks about throwing pearls before swine. And there comes a time where you, you, you befriended this person, you try to help this person, and this person is not responding. As a matter of fact, he's sucking more out of you than, than he's receiving from you. You need to separate yourself. And I'm not saying be mean to him. I'm saying you just need to separate yourself for your own sanity. The choice is yours. We can choose peace. Or we can choose to continue to hang around somebody who's always going to take that peace, steal that peace from us. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you. And I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.